Hey everyone, and welcome back. With LumaFusion 3, it's really fun to start a project in a field, literally in a lava field in Iceland, and then be able to airdrop it right to another device, like when you're on the plane or when you're in the hotel or when you're back in your studio. I'm now back in my studio and I wanna also archive these. So I'm gonna show you a couple quick tips using LumaFusion 3, how to airdrop it and how what some of the options are for doing that. So let's look here. Uh, this is LumaFusion 3. This is a project I just copied over called Mountains. This project was just on my phone. I did all this edit here uh, in the field, uh, literally in the field in Iceland, okay, in June. And it all started right here are on my project. So I've got all my projects, and here's the thing. Here's why I need to get them off. I have made a boo-boo on my iPhone 12, and I have to go get that fixed. So before I do, I need to get all my precious stories off of here because this will not be in my possession. Yes. So I need, this is one, obviously, a real case study here about how to and why you want to back up often and early. So I need to back this stuff up. I've got a project here called Tent. Now, Tent is pretty simple. Tent, all I have to do is uh, select my project. I'm in my projects view here. I've got several. I've got the blue bar there around tent, and I just use the box with the up arrow. And here's where you have options. If you just want to bounce this project to another iOS device, that's called a LumaFusion project package, and that's what I'm going to choose. I could choose a different destination, but it's right here, so I'm just going to airdrop it. I want to make sure I've got all my original media, but if I wanted a smaller file size, I could just take the trimmed. I'm going to take the larger. It's not that much of a difference here on this project. This is a very short film. This now creates an archive in the LumaFusion format. It will take your original media. It will not compress it. it will not, you're not going to lose any quality here. In here, right there, you can just airdrop it right to, well, in this case, it's going right over here to the iPad uh, M1, Rob's iPad M1. And this is a small file. You'll see when it comes over. It's not very big, but I'm going to do this with each of my files. And it'll come over open, uh, airdrop with LumaFusion. So here we are in LumaFusion. We're going to open it up. And here is the complete edit. All of the text overs. This was a time lapse uh, shot on top of a glacier. Music was also composed using the Groovebox app. Uh, it was just a fun little moment because we thought we'd have a little selfie here with our tent. Maybe wondering how did you get all of the cool camera moves there? It was just you and your wife, and you're setting up a tent. It's the only time we got to set up a tent in Iceland, as a matter of fact. Um, the answer is keyframe animation. So I can show you that real quick here because this was a one shot, a one shot made actually with my GoPro. Yeah, on um, tripod locked down with some rocks. By the way, lava rocks are not that heavy because there's a lot of air in them. So you need a lot of lava rocks to hold it. It's very windy up there, obviously. And, um, okay, so let's go in here and see what I did. This clip was filmed in 4K. So that's one of the things. I have maximum resolution of the camera, which would allow me to do things like this, which is looks like it's zooming in, but it's not zooming in. It's just digitally cropping to a different framing. But it's doing it over several seconds here. And the time lapse, because it's the counter motion there, uh, or the cross motion, if you will, of the clouds with it and all the people inside, it just has a nice feel. It has a nice look. So let's look at that under frame and fit. So frame and fit, you can see all of the positions here. And what's really cool now is that you obviously um, have these nudge uh, controls, but you also have um, just organic feeling like you can start here with a keyframe with a certain size 
uh, and then you can just audition and go between them. I like to do that um, just as I feel it. This is just two keyframes. There's the blue spot here. There's a blue spot here. So this is the original size and position and the end. And that's all that's happening there. But it's really quite a big 156% enlargement, which, you know, if this was just HD video, I wouldn't recommend that high. You will get this start to get break up and lose a lot of value. Now here's a different. So then I just split the clip there. And I just said, let's let's start with that new position and let's anticipate future events. So I'm actually going to set a keyframe here. I'll double click on that clip and you'll see I've got multiple keyframes here. And what you can do is just with the pencil, and it's probably better to illustrate with pencil here, you can now see all of these blue points on this timeline. And these are all just created as you go using the plus button or you can eliminate them here with these controls down here. The little blue circles are what you're setting on your video clip that creates this keyframe animation. So you can see the first one is going to uh, basically truck right and it's going to zoom because it's going to anticipate where this tent is going to blow away to. Basically we turn the tent into a kite, right? And then we just said, you know, we're just going to keep that and we're going to have a little fun at our expense um, and just write a little script to it. So that's what we did, just to share a little fun moment from a day a shoot uh, that was you probably would not normally share. So that's why this was done, and this is how this is done using keyframe animation. Um, if you want to change any of those parameters where that dot is, you can just, I just like to use the hard um, line with the triangle to get exactly on the dot and then when, if you change any of the parameters over here uh, it will remember those as you go forward so keyframe animation just work with one small segment of a clip at a time um, if you get carried away and things get out of control you can always hit the the circle with the the, the, the bigger circle with the X in it and it'll reset it um, but keyframe animation can be fun it re bear in mind it does take some practice um, with LumaFusion 3, yeah, you can do these cool little builds as well, um, and it's kind of fun. I was just trying to remember something else. There is something here. Yeah, the numeric keypad, and that's pretty cool because now you can, if you wanted to get really precise, you can dial in just the exact amount of scale, rotation, size, position, all those details with the numeric keypad. So that's Another cool thing with LumaFusion 3, I'm Rob Montgomery. This is the Smart Film School in Berlin. Happy filming.